thing. <sighs> All right, so this is very, very awkward. I've never vlogged before, as you can probably tell, but anyways, this is the first time for everything, right? So I thought I would vlog today. Um, mainly because we are in the process of moving and I kind of wanted this for, you know, my memories. So, here's my first vlog. I don't even know why I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? <laughs> it's so weird. It was like, I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is different from like a planned out video, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not the same. <laughs> Vlogging is like a, a different just different it's different anyways i don't know why i'm so nervous <laughs> i think it's lack of sleep combined with first time blo vlogging vlogging whatever Ugh. and sorry if i'm talking kind of quiet my husband's in the other room like i don't even know what he's doing i think he's like on the phone or something i don't even know but so i'm trying to not bother him and also i'm like nervous about vlogging and i don't want to vlog in front of an audience you know what i mean so <laughs> Anyways, anyway, so I apologize for my appearance. It's not the, not the best. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know where to look. I'm like uh, filming this on my phone, so I'm sorry for the really poor quality. I don't even know the quality on this. We'll find out, but I don't know where to look. So right now I'm just going to look at me, I think. I don't know. Uh, anyways. <sighs> so... It was a long day today. It was supposed to take two days to move and they did it in one day and oh my gosh, it was crazy. I slept at f almost 4 a.m. and woke up at 7 because the movers are here and uh, it's been crazy but now our house is empty. I'll try to insert a clip of what our house looked like <laughs> but yeah. Our house is totally empty now. I don't even know how the sound quality is going to be on this. Oh my gosh. I hope it's not terrible. This was our first home and now it's empty. I can't believe we're actually moving. It was like in denial, but now that the house is freaking empty, can't deny it anymore. So anyways, it's tough. Um, we're actually moving quite a, like far far away from my home <laughs> i don't don't want to give out details but you know it's gonna be quite different <sighs> we'll see how that goes we still have like a lot of cleaning to do because um it was kind of messy with all the you know moving and all that of course but ow, my hair <sighs> Gosh. <sighs> anyways so yeah i will keep you guys updated this is my first vlog. What? That's so crazy. But, um, okay. Yeah, I will insert a, a video of how the house looked like when we were living here and then the house now.
have to sleep on the floor tonight because <sighs> literally all of our furniture is gone. There's like, there's nothing left. Just like some clothes and that's it. Oh, and my yoga mat. I might sleep on that. <laughs> I was planning on making that my pillow, but I don't know. Anyways, I will keep you guys updated. So it turned out that we didn't need to sleep on the floor because we actually got a hotel the last minute. So that was really nice. And so, yeah, it was pretty nice not having to sleep on the floor. So I was really grateful for that. Um, this was like a really cool little suite. But uh, the only thing was this bathroom, which was, I don't know who engineered the shower stall, but it was facing straight out instead of inside the shower. So then, yeah, you see that whole leak situation. Ugh, it was not pretty. But other than that... So grateful to be sleeping on a bed instead of the floor. Okay, anyway. Hi guys, it's another day. Are you done? Yeah. But it's another day and I'm back. And here's my sister. She came here to visit me before I lay up. Yeah. My squish. <laughs> We're in the process of cleaning. Well, my my dad is cleaning. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. He wanted to, yeah. He wanted to vacuum. So I don't even know where to look in this yeah. camera. Like I think it's. I'm I looking think, at you. I'm looking at myself. Oh, wow. Okay. That's all for now. <laughs> I will keep you guys updated. <laughs> um, we're just gonna sit and chill. This is my little living space right now. I'm on my yoga mat. There's my laptop. And I saw just because I like, I don't know, I spray away the bugs with the Lysol. I use scrubbing bubbles. Because it like encapsulates them in like a little cloud of bubbles, so it's like a happy way to die. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> I will keep you guys updated. Bye! Hey guys, so it is the next day and I'm back in the old house. Today is the last day that I have with my house. I guess it's no longer my house, but this will always be my first house. Oh, oh crap. So excuse my appearance. Look at I don't understand. I used we were actually staying in a hotel and I used the shampoo there and made my hair feel so frizzy so then I tried to like tame it by like braiding it at night and oh my gosh it just made it worse but it fits quite well with the shirt that I'm wearing like a win boy a win boy a kuna matata I definitely needed to wear the shirt because I'm like so stressed and uh, stressed depressed and sad and but excited i don't know so many emotions moving is no joke oh my gosh look at my oh my oh my gosh my eyebrows yes i literally rolled out of bed and came here i did like a final farewell to my house talking to my house as crazy as that sounds but you know i felt like <laughs> um like in friends where they say Thank you to the hotel. You know what I mean? You know that clip? You know? And then like, like Ross is like, thank you. You know. Thank you. <laughs> All the Friends fans out there will know exactly what I'm talking about. I guess I'll give you guys a quick little tour. All right. So this is the entryway. So when you walk in, it opens up into this beautiful open living room. And that's the kitchen right there. Fireplace. And then this um, was kind of like our exercise room slash office. A little closet here. <sighs> I'm like out of breath. Oh my gosh. Um, that's the backyard over there. 
And yep, that's the kitchen. There's a huge pantry, which I loved. Um, I love window seats, like obsessed with window seats. It's so pretty. This is the hallway. These two are just closets, like coat closets. Um, this was the laundry room. It's all gone now. But yeah, this I used as my like actual coat closet. And then this I had my husband to convert into a shoe closet, which was so awesome to have. And this is just another closet. I had my candle collection in there. And then this one, ooh, automatic lights. And this was the guest bathroom. And then that's the door to the garage. And this is the other guest room with the big closet. I like the double doors. Double doors are really cool. So that, this was my makeup room. My beautiful makeup room and I had all of my dolls and well, not dolls, but stuffed animals displayed up here. And this also has a similar closet. <sighs> yeah. And then finally, we have my bedroom, the master bedroom. It's so nice, very spacious. I love the big window. And the ba uh, master bathroom. nice jacuzzi tub it's pretty awesome and the closet which I loved <sighs> yep this side was my husband's the smaller side <laughs> and then this side was mine <sighs> so yep that's our house folks and it was so crazy <laughs> I, I wasn't feeling sad at first, I guess, because it didn't hit me that we were actually moving, moving, you know, I don't know. I was like in denial and then um, like I saw the movers like wrap our, our couch like in these big quilts and stuff and I guess that's when it hit me. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, oh my gosh. And then yesterday I was getting like super emotional, like seeing like like these restaurants that I was like I would always go to here and that you can't find where, you know, the in the new place that we're moving to. <sighs> so my husband was like, Oh my gosh, why are you so emotional about food? But those are just restaurants and I was like, Okay, but you can't get the same food. Like the place that we're moving to doesn't really have many options like options or anything it's i don't know yeah it hopefully it's it's not as bad as i'm making it out to be i think i'm just biased because like i you know was born and raised here but so currently we are staying in an apartment in the new state that we're living in um because we're waiting to uh for our house to be built we're we're just doing like a semi-custom home i think is what it's called um, which was cool. The process was actually really cool. I always wanted to build our own house, but um, This I don't really consider this to be like our forever home But the thing is like we didn't even care to like build a brand new house We were looking for like a house to move into like right away, but For some reason there were like literally no houses available. There was one there was one that we saw and uh, this house was terrifying it was it li literally looked like a dungeon it was so scary looking and like even <laughs> before like my husband didn't didn't even want to look at it because the pictures looked scary and i was like maybe it's just the pictures you know let's just go look at it because it would make the whole moving process easier instead of having to like wait for the house to be built and all that you know so we went and saw this house like first off the door like before we entered was covered covered in these 
bugs that I've never seen before. These bugs that have tails, which is so weird. I don't even know what kind of bug that was, but oh my gosh. It was terrifying. I, I didn't see that as a good sign, but I was like, you know what? Let's just give it a chance. And th yeah, it, the house looked so scary. It was so dark and gloomy and no one had ever lived in it. They just built it and left it there and hoping that someone would buy it, but no one has ever bought it. And I see why, because it literally, it looked like a haunted house or something. It was so creepy, but yeah. So we had no choice but to build a house but um but it was a cool learning process it was really um interesting you know, they give you like certain floor plans that you can choose from and um different pat like packages like for like the woodwork and the floors and stuff like that it's hard to picture it i wish it had like a digital thing you know like a computer program or something that kind of shows you what everything looks like together but I don't know, hopefully it turns out <laughs> turns out good. Anyways, my sister actually said she's gonna come over uh, right before we left. We're leaving today. So we're actually driving up to the new place, um, which is like an 18, 19 hour drive. <sighs> so, um, so she's bringing me boba tea. <laughs> Uh, I love boba tea and so does my husband, but the new place that we're moving to, they have what they call is boba tea, but it, it it's not boba tea. It's like boba slush. Uh, I don't know why. We went, we tried several places, like several um, states in this certain area that we're moving to. Um, like the surrounding states and all that. I, I don't know if they don't know what boba tea is, but they, it's literally like a slushy with boba in it. And we asked like specifically like just boba, like the milk tea. And I mean, that's the only option that they have because I've seen like, like slushy types with boba, but then you also have like the milk version. You know what I mean? Anyways, am I really talking about boba tea? And it sucks too because like we're moving in September. Sep September is like the most important month in on my family side because that's my parents' anniversary and both of my siblings' birthdays and even my husband's birthday. And like we just happen to be moving in September, so I'm gonna miss all of that. It sucks. So yeah. Oh my gosh, my face feels swollen and I feel like it is swollen. I am have like horrible sinus allergies right now. Can't breathe. But that didn't stop me from inhaling ice cream yesterday. We found this like little ice cream, ice cream. We found this little ice cream parlor yesterday and it was so good. I don't even know what it was called, but we were like waiting on someone and then we were like, let's just go get ice cream while we wait. And yeah, my husband and I just like inhaled that. It was really good. I'm just going to take a final look around, make sure everything is good, take a selfie in front of my first house, and then then we leave for our road trip. Let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks on moving. Um we kind of crammed everything into our car <laughs> and I'm like squashed in the passenger side. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. My husband was like, I'm so glad you're like, you know, short <laughs> because it doesn't really affect me that much. But if he was in the passion pass, oh my gosh. But if he was in the passenger side, he would have totally gotten squashed, like for sure. All right, so I decided to do something about my hair. I have like 50 million bobby pins in my hair right now, I, but that was the only way I could tame it. It was just driving me insane, so I had to do something. And then I started feeling sad again, so I decided to distract myself by doing a little bit of makeup, just my brows and some mascara. But, yeah, oh, and chapstick, if you consider that makeup. So, yeah, I'm still waiting for my boba tea.
I don't know where my sister is. Okay, so I never got my boba tea. <laughs> the place didn't open until later, so that sucks. But that's okay, because I would be peeing through the entire road trip. I know that for sure, so it's a, a blessing in disguise. Now I'm just waiting for my hubby to come back and so we can start our whole road trip. I will see you guys either soon or in my next video, like the next part of this vlog, you know what I mean? So, bye. This guy's got a puppet in his hand, dancing. So we are officially out of the house. We are in the car, starting our road trip strong by going to Einstein Bagels, hopefully getting some bagels. It's pretty late. Hopefully they didn't completely run out of the good bagels, which they always do at this location. Yeah, as you can see, the car is like jam packed. The trunk, I can't even open the trunk. Hopefully they still have some bagels left. They close soon, so I hate going like not even 30 minutes before they close. And it is like almost like 40 minutes before they close. I hate that. I remember like even when I had to close for my work, people would come in after our closing hours and demand to be you know helped it was ridiculous i was like we have hours for a reason you know but the worst was during um football games oh my gosh it would be like incredibly quiet and like no one absolutely no one and then they would wait until the football game is over and then all of a sudden it's just jam packed and they'll be like it's important it's important well if it was important why didn't you come during the day <sighs> yeah and just for reference i worked in a children's urgent care and you know the parents would start yelling at me saying like well my kid is sick well why didn't you come in when we were open well the game was on okay <laughs> priorities right anyways uh, i think you found some bagels Alright, I'll keep you guys updated. There's the husband. He just had Einstein bagels. There's the hubby. That's cool, Ray Bans. <laughs> it's like his favorite glasses. Make sure he's camera ready. Yeah. We're going through like the main city in our state. <laughs> This is day number two, right? Two on our road trip. And I have this little food keeping me company. You know what I say hi? Yo yo. Oh my He's so hip. <laughs> so yep, I'm gonna drive all day today too. Well, mainly this guy. Back in later. Really? <laughs> yeah. Did you want to say anything? No, I'm just driving. Just driving? Okay. I'm a driver. Okay. I like your um, Baskin Robbins shirt. Thank you. Yeah, it looks great. I love the shirt. Welcome to Tennessee. Oh, welcome to Tennessee. Volunteer state, that's what it is. Tennessee Volunteer State. Oh. Ah, wow. Give the hand sanitizer. It's in your pocket. She's rolling. No, the other rolling, one. Rolling and patrolling like a Chevy. No. Chevy Wendy. <laughs> sing it. Sing it, sing it. No, I don't know. Yes, you do. Sing it. Hi, beautiful. See? <laughs> oh, I was talking to myself. I knew it. Okay. <laughs> I could see myself in your phone. You're rude. 